What's up everybody? We got a box. And yeah, it's already open. Well, check this out. Now, actually, it's already open because uh, apparently their tape machine sucks. For real to steal? Uh, yeah. I already got an email out to them. Just kind of want to see if everything was in it. Uh, we do have six items in there. I'm not sure if that's what all is supposed to be in there, but it is what it is, but still waiting to hear back from them. So, I guess we'll just get into it then, huh? How about that? All right, so we open up. Right off the top, we got the unlimited guide to home butchering. Uh, cows, pigs, hogs, birds, there's all kinds of things. Uh, we got rabbits. And packaging, storing, killing. Cooking, rendering lard, I yeah, okay. So, it, I mean, I'm not really liking books and stuff like that, but I guess you gotta get one. You know, maybe have a butcher something or something like that, but maybe Matthew from the UK, uh, he'll probably know some of this stuff and he can put some stuff on his firebox and get it done. So that's our first item I guess we get because I have no idea about what anything costs or none of that. All right, so next up we have, oh Jesus Christ. I really hate these things. I just, I, I do not like them. They're not knife sharpeners, they are knife dullers. And God, I got one. I got two of these things. These things are so coarse that they don't sharpen anything. Now, maybe if you had an ax and you wanted to go down that way with it and not cut yourself, it'd be good for that, but for your knife, no, this this is no junk. That's just junk right there, that's all I'm saying. All right, throw that over to the side. All right, so anyway, Next up we have uh, a deer call. Now you gotta remember though, this box is from Outdoor Life. That's who makes this. And it is November, so it is deer season. So we have a Stinger Pro deer grunt call. Oh, shit, I always blow it. If I can get into it. So we have the grunt call. <laughs> now if a deer comes into that call, or the way I made it sound, uh, he's pretty stupid. Yeah, okay. I could just have fun playing with this damn thing, but that's not the way you're supposed to use it. But that's pretty cool. Nice little flexible tube on there. You can flex it out, change the tone. Got a little lanyard on there so you can hang it around. Yeah, pretty cool. You know, and I'm a hunter, or I like to hunt, so stuff like this I kind of like. Useful, useful, useful. But there ain't no deer coming into anything I call. That's all I got to say. All right, so next up in the box, we got uh, precision peeps, rear peep sight for the bow. 
All right, so if you can see this little guy right there, that's moving around. It's just a little peep sight that goes in the back of your bow string to help you line up your front string, or your front sight pin, sorry. Like I said, this is from an outdoor company. Uh, not bad, but I really don't use rear peeps, so I do more of the traditional hunting. But, all right, I'll take it. And it just fell off the table. And next up, we have the Open Nail Opelio. I don't even know how you pronounce this goddamn thing. But these are a nice little knife. This is the second one I got. Actually, hold on a second. I already got one open. All right. So this is the one I got before. And these things are like old school, just really nice nice I mean I remember my grandfather had one he was clean trout with it and stuff like that skin deer with it they are actually really 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 sharp and then now you can turn the collar if I can get it that way then you can lock that blade open or you could turn it close it and lock the blade closed too. But it's not spring loaded, it's nothing. It's just nice. I mean, it's super light. It's just super sharp. Doesn't take much to touch it up or do anything to it. It's just really nice. You know, so that's kind of awesome. I really don't mind having two of those. That's nice. So we got that one too. So now we got something big in the box. Ugh. This is why the box is so long. Ugh. Let's get that. All right. So what the hell's in here? I didn't check this box out. All right. Just Try to get it out. Uh -huh. Shit. What the hell is that? There's a carrot bean. Oh, this is a game hanger. I can already see it right now. But I can't get out of the box. There we go. Nothing else up in there. Alright, you can take that one. Seriously? I guess when I got the uh, cure for that, you'll appear your knife. Or whatever you want to call it. I have no idea. Damn, that thing's sharp. Look at that. And then a bunch of rope. Zip ties? Oh no, I got I got something for zip ties. Oh. Yep. Zip tie over here. Gotcha. I better put this thing away before I kill myself. Alright, so we got ourselves a little game hanger. Alright, hold on. Got, got to cut it back open again. See, this is why these things are so good. They just, boop. Just pocket things and they do things. Nice. Very lightweight. All right, let's just get all that crap out of the way. This is what we got. We have the, the game hanger with a bunch of rope on it. And actually, the pulleys are right there too. That's nice. Cause you can not only use this for uh, if, you know, you're in a situation, you know, have to hang up some game or you wanted to take this, you know, arm off. You could use this pulley system, you know, to hang things, 
you know, grab things. Uh, I don't even know. I mean, you could do so much with this. It's like a pulley system. I mean, can you see that? There's one, two right there. One, two right there. And then you got this. I mean, that's kind of nice. So all in all, yes, it is a hunting box and it does revolve on hunting, but of course, if you're stuck in a situation where you need to hunt, you might need to. Yes, you get a game call and figure out how to use that. But you do get a badass knife. Uh, you get a piece of crap sharpener. But you get this book on home butchering and how to butcher stuff. And I don't know. I don't like books in, in boxes, but this one I'll probably take a look at because I do cut a lot of my own stuff up. So, this is what it'd be. I mean, like, comment, subscribe, tell me what y'all think, share the videos, and we'll do some more of this stuff. Appreciate it.